Have you ever wondered what it takes for a human being to survive against all odds? It's a question that has intrigued us for ages, sending us on a quest to unravel the mysteries of human survival instincts. How does our mind, body and spirit conspire to keep us alive in the face of danger? What hidden strengths do we possess that surface only when the odds are stacked against us? We're not just talking about survival in the wilderness here. It's about those moments when the human spirit is tested to its limit and it responds with an incredible will to survive. Throughout this video, we will share some remarkable stories of survival, tales of individuals who faced seemingly insurmountable challenges and yet came out on top. These stories are not just chronicles of survival, they are testament to the depth of human resilience and the science behind it. So, are you ready? Let's delve into the fascinating world of survival instincts and the science that explains them. The human body is an incredible machine designed to survive. When it comes to survival instincts, we're talking about a complex interplay of biology and evolution where every component has a crucial role. Let's start with the fight or flight response, a classic example of survival instincts at work. When we perceive a threat, our body kicks into high gear, preparing us either to confront the danger or run away from it. This response is like a biological alarm system, powered by hormones like adrenaline that fuel our muscles, quicken our pulse, and sharpen our senses. Speaking of adrenaline, it's like the superhero of hormones when it comes to survival. It's released from the adrenal glands in response to stress, readying our body for immediate action. It increases heart rate, blood pressure, and energy supplies. It even slows digestion and suppresses non-emergency bodily functions all to ensure that every ounce of energy is directed towards survival. The maestro conducting the symphony of survival is a small, almond-shaped part of our brain called the amygdala. This tiny powerhouse processes our emotions, especially fear, and plays a pivotal role in triggering the fight-or-flight response. When danger looms, the amygdala sends distress signals to the rest of the body, igniting the survival mechanisms we've discussed. These instincts are not recent additions to our biological toolkit, oh no. They've been honed and refined over millions of years of evolution. Our ancestors faced constant threats from predators and harsh environments, and it was survival of the fittest. Those with the most effective survival instincts passed these traits down, shaping the human species into the resilient survivors we are today. But it's important to remember that survival is not just about the immediate response to danger. It's also about resilience, endurance, and adaptability. Our bodies are equipped with mechanisms for long-term survival as well, like the ability to heal wounds, combat infections, and even mentally cope with traumatic events. These biological mechanisms are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to human survival. In 1972, a plane carrying 45 passengers crashed in the Andes Mountains. The survivors faced extreme conditions and had to rely on their survival instincts. Let's delve into the story of the Andes flight disaster, a chilling tale of survival against all odds. The plane, filled with a Uruguayan rugby team, their families and friends, was en route to Chile when it met with a gruesome fate and crashed into the icy heart of the Andes. Of the 45 souls on board, only 28 survived the initial crash, but the ordeal was far from over. The survivors found themselves stranded in an icy wilderness, devoid of any sign of human life, at an altitude of about 12,000 feet. Food and supplies were scarce, and the relentless cold gnawed at their spirits. The survivors faced a stark reality. Their only hope for survival was to endure until rescue arrived. But with each passing day, their hope dwindled. The search was called off after just 10 days. The survivors, however, were not ready to give up. They had to rely on their wits, courage, and above all, their survival instincts to stay alive. They rationed the little food they had, used the wreckage for shelter, and melted snow for drinking water. Yet, the most daunting challenge was perhaps the psychological battle. The survivors had to deal with the trauma of losing their loved ones, the guilt of surviving, and the fear of an uncertain future. Their survival instincts kicked in, helping them to stay focused and motivated. They developed a strong sense of camaraderie and shared responsibility, which played a crucial role in their survival. In an unbelievable feat of endurance and determination, 
the survivors were able to stay alive for 72 harrowing days in freezing conditions until their eventual rescue. This incident, known as the Miracle of the Andes, is one of the most extraordinary survival stories in history. This story is a testament to the power of human survival instincts when pushed to the limit. In 1982, Stephen Callahan found himself adrift in the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. His sailboat had sunk, leaving him alone and stranded for a staggering 76 days. With only a life raft and a few supplies, Callahan embarked on a journey of survival, battling against the odds in the merciless open sea. Callahan, an experienced sailor, knew the ocean's capricious nature, but nothing could have prepared him for the relentless struggle that lay ahead. Days turned into nights, then back into days, blurring into one long, interminable ordeal. With only a solar still for distilling seawater and a makeshift spear for catching fish, Callahan had to rely on his primal instincts to survive. His survival strategy was twofold. First, to sustain his body with food and water, and second, to keep his mind sharp and spirit unbroken. He caught fish and birds, using raw ingenuity and sheer will. He collected rainwater and distilled seawater, demonstrating an innate understanding of the basic principles of survival. Yet, it was his mental fortitude that truly set Callahan apart. Isolated and alone, he fought the creeping tendrils of despair and hopelessness. He kept a logbook, documenting his daily experiences and thoughts a testament to his unwavering will to survive. He scribbled down sketches of fish and sea creatures, a testament to his indomitable spirit, his refusal to surrender to the crushing loneliness of the sea. In the end, his resilience paid off. Callahan was eventually spotted by fishermen off the coast of Guadeloupe, a miraculous conclusion to his harrowing ordeal. His story is a powerful testament to the strength of human survival instincts. A testament to the power of the human spirit when confronted with the raw, unbridled forces of nature. Callahan's story shows us that survival instincts are not just about physical survival, but mental resilience as well. Against the odds, he survived. Driven by the primal instinct to live. Demonstrating the remarkable capacity of the human spirit to endure and overcome. We've explored some incredible survival stories, but what can we learn from them? Well. Let's take a step back and summarize the key points that we've discussed. Our survival instincts are truly remarkable and are deeply ingrained within us. These instincts, which are controlled by our brain, are activated in response to perceived life-threatening events. When we face a threat, our brain's amygdala triggers a fight or flight response, releasing adrenaline and other stress hormones to prime our body for action. But survival is not just about the immediate reaction to danger. It's also about adaptability. This is where the prefrontal cortex, the planning center of the brain, comes into play. It helps us strategize and make quick decisions, like finding shelter or navigating unfamiliar terrain. It's a testament to our species' ability to adapt to a wide range of environments and circumstances. Another crucial aspect of survival instinct is mental resilience. Our ability to stay focused, maintain hope, and persevere in the face of adversity can often be the difference between life and death. We've seen this in the stories of the Andes flight disaster and the miracle at sea, where survivors had to rely on their mental strength to endure harrowing conditions. These instincts are not just for extreme situations though. They are part of our daily lives. Every day we make decisions, face challenges, and overcome obstacles, whether big or small. Our survival instincts guide us, helping us navigate the complexities of life. The science of survival is a testament to the resilience, adaptability, and strength of the human spirit. It shows us that we are all equipped with the necessary tools to face and overcome adversity. This innate capacity for survival is an integral part of our human nature, something that has been honed and refined through countless generations. So next time you find yourself in a challenging situation, remember, you have the power of survival instincts on your side. Now that we understand the science behind our survival instincts, let's talk about how we can harness these instincts in our daily lives. Remember, your brain is a powerful tool and you can train it to respond better in stressful situations. Start by taking on challenges that push you out of your comfort zone. This can be anything from learning a new skill to pushing your physical limits with exercise or even facing a fear. 
The idea is to get your brain used to dealing with discomfort and change. This will help you stay calm and think clearly when faced with real adversity. Mental resilience can also be built up over time. Practice mindfulness, meditation, or other stress management techniques to help you stay focused and positive. Remember, the key is to maintain hope and perseverance no matter what life throws at you. And finally, always remember to adapt. Be open to change and willing to learn from each experience. It's this adaptability that has allowed humans to thrive in a variety of environments and situations. Your survival instincts are a powerful. They are always there, ready to help you overcome whatever challenges you face. So next time you find yourself in a difficult situation, remember, you have the power of survival instincts on your side. And with conscious effort, you can become better at using them to your advantage. That's all for today's deep dive into the science of survival. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the science of survival. Remember, your survival instincts are more than just a response to danger. They are part of who you are as a human being. They are a testament to your strength, resilience, and adaptability. Harness them, sharpen them, and let them guide you through life's challenges. Until until next time, Stay curious, stay adaptable, and always remember the power of survival instincts.